One of the main things that I've noticed that Ghost does not have is some hideaways. Hideaways are really important to rats because it gives them the ability to, well, hide away. It's like a small spot where it's their own. It's sort of like, imagine if your house didn't have any walls and was just windows. Like, you'd be really anxious about going to the toilet. Like, they don't... You'd be really anxious about most things, like people could be watching you. So it gives them a nice little spot to be away from the people or the dog that's looking at them. Just a small spot to feel comfortable. Now, I'm going to make two hideaways today. One is going to be a more permanent hideaway for ghosts that his mum can just wash in the sink. And then the other one is going to be some babushka style. Um, and the other one is going to be some babushka style cardboard hideaways that his mum can just throw away as needed. So he can use them for a week, throw them away and just keep going through them until she's done with them. I had a little bit of a look around and I wanted to find some free items and I found these! <laughs> Amazing! I found a plastic bottle. I have found some bites. Very important. So what I'm thinking is that we build the hideaway like this. So for my radars, because they're so small, I would probably just use one bucket and cut a hole in it. But that's kind of boring and Ghost is a fatter radar. He's very large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these two buckets, put them together. I'm going to cut, still cut a door out the front. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the middle of the bottle to build a bridge, like a little little archway between the two. So it makes one hideaway that's larger that he can walk around and get stuck in and if he really wants to he can cozy up in this one or he can cozy up in that one or he can lie between them if he's too fat for that. Okay so with movie magic I've washed and dried these buckets because they were covered in dirt which is a little bit gross but I'm going to start by cutting out the archway. So <clears throat> if you're smart, you would notice that there are sharp edges here. Don't you worry, that's not going to be there forever. I'm going to figure out a way to make that less sharp. Take this off. So we have the plastic for the archway. I'm going to cut out the archway holes. Okay, so this plastic actually gives you a lot of room work with making a relatively large arch. Considering he's a fat rat, I might have to go with a larger arch than I would with mine. What I might do is draw it on a piece of paper, make a template so that they're both the same on each. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be back. Okay, okay I grabbed some paper for my template arch. Um, it's really simple. All that i done is I'm going to fold the paper in half, draw an arch down the edge like that, Open it up, then that'll be my arch template. Boom, arch. I'm just gonna make sure we do have enough plastic to cover it. I think we will. So I'm going to cut off the bottom and make it a bit shorter. That's much better. That's much more doable. Cut it out, obviously. one hideaway. This could probably be enough for your rat if you felt like it. You could just leave a hideaway like this, but we're gonna make a bigger one. So the idea is that we're gonna put them sort of close together and have a 
covered archway between. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut in. So I'm going to cut into the edges like that so that we can fold this back and make a join. do is I'll come a bit closer. Okay, so I'm going to give you a bit of a close-up of how it looks. So see how that's all folded in? Um, this is just stuck in at the moment but I'm going to glue it down so that there are no pointy bits and yeah it's all just stuck in. Pro tip technique for gluing. First thing I'm going to do is individually put globs, globules, 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 globules of glue on each one of these things. I'm just using craft glue at the moment. Flip it over, slide it in. Now the thing you'll notice is that it's not going to stay. So in order to combat that, for the moment being, I'm just going to use some tape. Oh no, I ran out of tape. Okay. Whew. I'm going to use what's left of our tape to tape down the bits. Right. Excuse me while I run in panic while I go find some more tape. I think it's gonna work. Um, this is not ideal. Made another arch at the front for it to get through. It's a bit smaller. There we go. So it's almost done. We're gonna wait a day for it to dry and then we can paint. Okay, so I'm back. It's the next day. Time to get back to craft. Um, literally, I was so excited to get back to craft. So, as the camera was off, I had a look at the gluing and so, good news and bad news. Good news, it has glued. Bad news, it's a little bit iffy. So, come up close. Okay, so I took off some of the tape and it's glued on, which is good. But, the bad side is, is that there's all these little pointy bits. And I definitely think that Ghost will be able to chew on that and rip it up. And I don't quite know about the integrity of the glue. Um, so I tried here. I tried ironing it onto that and that just ended up with a lot of fumes and curly plastic. So bad idea, don't try and iron it on, won't work. But I do have another idea. So luckily with the power of hoarding, I have two identical buckets that match these two, which is great. So in all honesty, this craft project will need four buckets when I originally thought there was two. Oh, there you go. Um, and my thought process is, is that I'm gonna take off the tape and then I'm going to slide the buckets in, cut out the holes in the same place, and then glue the buckets in so the buckets make a barrier. Now, if this is your own one, you could use leave the tape on, because your radios will probably rip them off, but you could add more tape on and all that jazz. But Ghost's mum doesn't, finds it a little bit hard to use her wrist, so I wanted to make this as easy as possible, something that she could just very easily clean, throw into the sink, wash up with some bit of dish soap, and bam, it's done. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue, throw a bunch of glue on the inside of these pots, and then stick the pots in and leave them to dry again. You can tip it over if it really feels like that still gives him the hiding. Now, because that's all glued together in the middle, I'm considering painting it from the outside now, which I may as well just do. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go paint it all one colour with a non-toxic paint. So, while that is drying, I'm going to make some more hideaways. I said I was going to make two, so these are just little babushka doll, easy 
hideaways that I can give to Ghost's mum and she can put in and then throw out as they go because cardboard pet shop makes things out of cardboard. <laughs> Okay, so the concept of these, so the concept of the, so the concept of these cardboard hideaways is going to be two things. One, that they can easily hide away into each other, and the other one is that they can fit into things. So I've got this, which I don't know whether you remember, but this was one of the levels of ghost thing cage and I'll be using this as a template to see how wide the cage is. I'm actually going to build them so that they kind of fit just on top of this. Now the other thing is is that with the other hideaway it had an open bottom but for this one I don't want that. This one I want to put on top of the other levels which will also have the wire flooring. So I want it to have a closed bottom but I also want it to fit into each other. So similar to how the flower pots kind of slide in to each other and have an open end. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have one end that's smaller, one end that's larger, the larger end will be open and they will slide into each other so it'll be kind of like as if I made it with an open bottom but tipped it on its side. Alright, so this is the cardboard that I have hoarded and let's see how I go. So luckily, with the piece of cardboard that I picked out, these edges are just small enough that it'll fit in, which is really cool. Okay, I have to think. And you just gotta remember that that height will come off that way and that way for the other two walls. So it'll be sitting upright. And then we're going to make another one of these over here for the next one. Now, I don't have enough cardboard on this cardboard to just make the whole thing and cut it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the individual pieces and use them as a template. And then I'm just going to like glue it together. Alright, so we've run into a little bit of a problem. Um, my original plan was that I was going to make hideaways that you slid into each other like you would pots. And able to keep up not very much space. Problem with that is that, as we've known previously, I'm out of sticky tape. Which means that I'm going to have to glue everything together. Which means... Then I'm going to have to put tabs on it, which will add to the thickness of what is inside because they are, will be layering on top. Which means that I can't put the babush good old thing because it'll need to be even smaller and smaller and smaller. So, new plan. I'm going to continue making this hideaway in the style that it is, but all the rest I'm just going to randomize and I'll give it to her in a box because, yeah. You really need to have everything just flat and not having any strange inside things. So the next thing that I'm going to have to do is make walls and a roof. The roof is easy, I just need a piece of cardboard that is the same, that fits there, which would be super easy. Um, for the walls though, what I'm going to do is flip that up to a 90 degree angle. Oh, I really forgot to tell you. Uh, in order to get this nice bending thing in corrugated cardboard, Get your box cutter, slice across there, but not all the way through, and then it'll bend. So, pro tip. So now that we have the basics, Of it fitting together. Obviously that's not just gonna sit, it's just gonna fall apart. So what I'm gonna do is get the cardboard again and cut approximately, I don't know, was that an inch and a half? 
An inch is 2.5 centimetres, so... Uh, let's go for 4 centimetres. So approximately 4 centimetre long strips. Preferably a long with the corrugation. Then I'm going to cut it to the length of the piece. Is that. Cut it down the middle. Give it a fold. Put the thing up there. And it'll be I'll join. Keep everything nice and glued together. Take glue and cardboard. What messy edges I have. Bruce, how are you even watching this? Nice and clean. And a nice clean edge. Okay, so this glue will work much better than it did on the plastic on cardboard. I'm just gonna grab some sticky tape and wait, fuck, we do have tape. <laughs> I'm using tape. Oh, life is so hard. Okay. Like this is not thick enough that you'd be able to stick it together, so yeah. Alright. Stay with the original plan. So we do have tape, it's just not tapey enough to tape it together. <coughs> that makes sense, because it's only like that thin. If I tape that up there, it's just going to fall straight apart. Ghost will be sitting, doing his poops, and then everything will fall apart around him. It'll be horrible. Horrible, I tell you. To keep it all together, but that's, that's pretty nice. I'm just going to... Do that for the rest, make it a full hideaway, and I'll come back to you with the finished, well, the nearly finished product. That's pretty much done. I've done the top half, and you know what, I've decided I'm just going to leave the bottom of this loose so that I can paint the whole thing around, and I'll just place it down and place this down on top of it, because, yeah, that's all he really needs. Um, now. The one thing about using cardboard is it's not very long lasting and you're going to want to throw it out. But just to give it that little bit extra wear, I am just going to paint over it with some non-toxic paint. It's very important to use non-toxic paint, especially when you're using, um, what is this called? Cardboard. Because ratters love, love, love to chew on cardboard. They will go, nah, 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 nah. it's cute, but yeah. So, non-toxic paint for the cardboard. <laughs> tired. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to paint the whole thing. I've found that rats like darker boxes, so I'm going to try to use a darker colour. Everything is dry now. I have the cardboard hideaway. I have the bucket hideaway. I just painted it black. I didn't paint the underside because you're not going to see it and I don't think the rat really cares about that. Those two things. And I've just gone to the $2 store to pick up a few extra things. 